Hello and welcome back to another video. This is PJ Tour Golf 3 on the Sega Mega Drive. And maybe not a lot of people know this, but I actually really enjoy golfing games. Not a fan of the sport. I think it's kind of ridiculous how you whack a ball and then run around following it. But in terms of video games, this is legendary in my circle of friends. This is a legendary title. Now you can't go wrong with any of the PJ Tour golf games and look at the bloody slice on that, which is probably hooked because I don't really know what I'm on about, but it's one or the other. You, you can't really go wrong with golf and video games. It's such a fantastic title, very relaxing to play, great with a group of friends. Such a laugh when someone hooks it wildly like I just did. I remember playing this with groups of people, you know, you know what it is when you're younger, everyone would be like, Ooh, bullshit! You know, and the person would miss and everyone would laugh. Fun times. But I'm just sat here on my own, so let's uh, move away from that kind of uh, childlike behaviour. Now you've missed the fantastic title screen music because I've already played a few holes and not been doing too well as you can see from the scoreboard there. I'm lucky to get a par. I'm more of a bogey kind of guy. So currently in 56th place. Now there are many modes in this game in terms of tournaments, skins, multiplayer, just practicing the courses. And there's a lot of courses in this game. I believe there's eight courses which was a big leap from the previous PGA Tour golf games. I think European Tour may have had six, but it was really an updated version of PGA Tour Golf 2. It wasn't until 3 came out that they used the digitalised characters. That has got some wild, wild swerve on it. Yeah, they used digitalised characters. I'm not actually sure. I've not heard it documented by anyone, but I get the impression looking at this, this may be, it's got some sort of different resolution. Um, some heavy rough here, hitting it heavy, some sort of different resolution, and I don't know, I know Sonic 2 use a different resolution, I believe F1 in the turbo mode use a different resolution, so it's definitely possible with the system, and I think a lot of the digitalised changes, you know, they just brought the game, just give it that realism that it was kind of lacking before. I mean, this was released in 1994, and I do remember owning this when it pretty much came out because I was a huge PGA Tour Golf fan, really was. And funnily enough, I bought this game for my friend for his birthday because we'd been playing it a lot and he really enjoyed it. And I still play it now and uh, get a real kick out of it. It's nice to have something that's just chilled out. You know, just relaxing, you can just sit back and enjoy it. Listen to the ambient sounds of the wind whistling through the trees and the birds chirping away. I'm going for the fringe put. Why not? Roll up, roll up, here's a fringe put. I don't see anything of that particular green reference guide. Ooh, and I moved it. To, I think I could have got that in if I'd gone straight. Stroke six on a par four. That's a dual bogey. Uh, I don't seem to be getting any better at this game. It seems to be getting worse. I really need to pull my uh, socks up. So 60th. I don't know how many people are competing. Probably 100. Okay, we're ready to roll. Let's go. Oh dear, can't get much worse I don't think. Yeah, I don't think you could possibly swerve it any further. Would have been nice if it hit the tree and then rebounded back onto the course. So we're in some sort of rough area here. Not too bad. Stick with the normal shot. I'm gonna... Let's hope and pray. If anybody's got a crystal ball, tell me where this shot's gonna land. She's on the green. Is she through the green? She's through the green. So we're definitely looking at a fringe putt. A little bit of information there. It is a fringe putt. 
One moment, please. Let's try and observe this this time. So as you can see from the contour there, it's going to slightly swerve to the left. So I believe we'll just put a little bit of left on there. We've got 30 foot to go, 35 on the scoreboard. That's looking good. That's looking good. Oh, he moved too much to the right. It was close, but not close enough. One moment, please. Kind of trying to uh, give it that tennis look there with that sort of announcement, I feel. Ooh, in she goes. Nice par in the hole. Listen to that. Disappointment, my glass is empty. 60th, clanging on to, clinging on to 60th for dear life. I've got a funny feeling there's only 60 people in the tournament. So here we go, a par three, a hole in one opportunity. Got rapidly changing winds. So he's gone down to the free wood, going to rely on the wind and hoping for a straight shot. Let's take it now and see where we are. So nice shots, compensated the wind, I think we could be in luck. Hole in one. Hold your hat. You can put your hat down now. It's gone miles through the green. One moment please. Oh Jesus, get out of town. Well, I think I've got this one covered. I think I've got it in the bag. <laughs> Not with a swerve like that. Not with a swerve like that, or could it be? Not quite. Oh, so close and yet so far. Couldn't be much more from the heart. Nothing else matters apart from this shot. Nice par. I think we'll go for one more hole. Here we are on a 60th. We're not really worried about the other people. Brad Foxton had something to say there. 547 yards, this is a big, this is a big course. So I'm not trying, ooh. Cut across the grass a bit more, I think. Ooh, got a strong headwind there, 18 miles an hour at the side. Bit of swerve, maybe compensate for my excessive movement there. That seemed like a nice shot to me. Pretty much square on. So here we go, 292 to the green. A bit of wind helping us, or not helping us as the case may be. And a lovely straight shot, got into the zone now. That is absolutely wonderful. If you could just stop there please, Paul. And there we go, that's nice, very nice. One moment please, we need to look at the green. Holy moly, definitely better to be shorter than longer. 56, 33, that's what I like about this game, well, golf games in general, you know, they, they require you a bit of mathematical skills here, so we're looking at half of 56, this is obviously 28, we need to go 33, so we're probably going to go about there. Well, I think that explains why I didn't do very well at maths at school, but here we go, 31 feet away, and look at that, that green is a mess. I say we go right to a couple of bits. So 75% is going to be 30. We need to go a little bit more. Go on then, place your bets now. Is this going in? Is this going in? <gasps> you can't get much closer than that. So it looks like we could be going for the par. Really could do with uh, getting some sort of minus points on here, a birdie. Something to into that, but... So that'll do, I mean, if you've got a mega drive or a SNES, you should probably pick up this game. It's really cheap, a lot of fun, and a very relaxing experience. So, thank you for watching, hopefully I'll load some more videos soon.